And welcome back to the long run where we are playing Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. The last time we uh, got to Keel Hall Key, we're a bit uh, marooned here at the current time, but we got something that should hopefully help us out in the form of this uh, boat curse. So now we can play boat game. Also, I should probably heal up before I die. We're almost to a level up, but you know, best to not risk it. Especially when I'm just going to walk off the plank like that, like a dumb boat. Probably not gonna be anything here, but y'all know me, I like to explore. It's definitely strange that they would have that little segment there and not put in there. Just explore. Y'all know how it is. Is there anything in this room? I don't think I checked. There is not. Yeah. Stop being butts. Ugh, that's gonna count as a regular jump. Fortunately, that's enough. Exactly enough to give us an additional level. So, what are we leveling up this time? As far as I know, it's entirely up to you, Zuzio, because I don't think anyone else is in check. BB. Well, I'm not gonna get to check my badges right away. Get them dips! By the way, reaching level 15 uh, technically opens up uh, a new redeem for uh, a new game changer redeem for the series. But we're stuck on this island and that's not going to work. When you see it, you will know. But well, once we get off of Kilo Hall Key, um, yeah, we're gonna open up an another redeem, and it's gonna be the last one for uh, for this game. Dang! Rip that out. I get it. I want it. Yeah. progress. It's 
So we do have this option here. That drop definitely looks like something that I can do, but remember, I can go behind this here. And Ms. Mouse is making a fuss over an item that exists right here. What is it? Defend plus partner. Boost your ally's defense by one. Ooh, that cost five. The sort methods. Let's sort by type actually. Let's turn the other jump. I'll draw me there and he's affected superbly. Let's see. many options. Um, I might want to drop one that costs one DP and use Flower Saver. Done that. We can come down here. And perhaps we can find a place. We cannot find prizes here because that's blocked up. Now I remember seeing that lever. Oh, I cannot drive in a straight line. There we go. So I think what's meant from us at this point is to do this again. Dang. Just slightly too forward. Oh, come on now. Really? Why is this not working? people uh, like to blame their gaming deficiencies on their controller. Most of my deficiencies are my own. That one was definitely my controller. 
an easier but slower way to do that. I think you're referring to this. Yeah. But keep in mind, it's only slower. Voice again. Those those ghosts must be getting uh, must be near us somewhere. But yeah, the the faster method is the one that will get you through sooner. So if you keep if you keep failing with one method, let me just say, if you keep failing with one method, but would have gotten through the first time with the other method that's quote unquote slower, then it's technically faster. So now that we've, uh, we've raised the sea stay here, let's see what we can find over here. That dang elusive shine spot. Nothing here, but maybe there is a treasure. I am behind here. What say you, game? Huh? If that is your real name. Oh. Okay. I guess we need to avoid these rooms. It's probably a safe assumption. There we go. First try. Book of Mario, thousands of doors. Hey, something's coming. There, floating on the water. Is that a is that a boat? Hey over here, save us please. Don't think I can save any of you. That was pointless. You're kidding me, it's my paper, I still can't breathe. Are hey, all are jerks. Hey. What say you now? Also, how long have you been there and how have you been surviving? that you can cancel out of your animation early by pressing Y. Dang. I did have to put me back up here. This was rude. You're free now. Hey, we can cross over now! Hey, hey, what are we waiting for? Let's go! How did all of these guys fit on one boat? Oh! Well, hello there.
That was interesting what just happened. Looks like Frankie and Francesca's honeymoon has uh, hit a bit of a snag. I don't know how you did it, but you saved us! We came here looking for that private treasure and then, well... Our ship got surrounded by ghosts up, uh, out in the ocean and we all ended up here. Hey, aren't you Mario? It's me! Me! Tom Pianta's daughter, Francesca, and Frankie's here too. After my dad forgave us, we set out on a trip. The ship that we were on got caught, got a little too close to this island. Now look at us. Still, I am amazed that the rumors about Co Cortez were all true, which means he is nearby. Hey, so by the way, why are you here? Don't tell me daddy had you come, uh, come here to take us back. What? You have to the pirate's treasure because it might contain the crystal star? I think the treasure's right in there, watched by Cortez's spirit. Yeah, I think I'm sure you'd be able to take care of him though. You look tough. Size nice. Cortex is the one that trapped us on that raft. So smack him one for me. Frankie and I are just so in love anytime, anywhere, no matter how dink. Hey pudding pie, cool it, will ya? I mean, come on, babe. Everyone's watching. How about you standing over here by your own, by your lonesome? Smells so weird down here. I mean, a little bit. I suppose it would be pretty musty. Oops. But whoa! Whoa, did I surprise you? Yeah, sorry about that. See, I actually follow you in here, but I got lost along the way. Well, anyway, I followed this path, and I finally caught up with you, and then... Listen, just forget it, okay? I'm sure the Crystal Star is inside that pirate ship. And pirate King Cortez is in there, too. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, probably. No big deal, though, right? You can take him, big guy. We're Catwoman. Well, I know I sure am. And so is Gross. Grotus, huh? Alright. I assume in there. But uh, I'm seeing some other things to do first. Yeah, I'm sure I'm sure we can trust this completely, you know, inconspicuous person. Let's mount our trusty seed and immediately fall into the water. Huh. Is this jumpable at all? Looks like no. So why does this platform exist? Uh. Dang. And switch to Goombella. Because we're going to fight as a boss. Ooh. You ignored my warning. Ooh. Come inside the door and be lost in darkness. It's not very dark, it's actually quite bright in here. Ooh, come into my... <coughs> Ooh. Enough. I grow tired of this spooky Ooh, business. I am a pirate blasted. Pirates do not moan. And a cold-blooded villain who robs innocence of life and loot, not a crying ghost. 
and you are after my treasure. I mean, not all of it, just that one little bit right behind you on the, left, on the right there. And this, this is my ship. What are you doing here? Speak. Turn your mustache into a bone polisher, amigo. Yo ho 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 ho. I mean, you didn't even let me talk. Well, what can you tell us about uh, this Dread Pirate Cortez? That's Cortez! He's a dreaded pirate spear who haunts this island. Max HP is 20, attack is 4, and defense is 1. His HP may seem low, but he's a spirit, so even when his HP hits 0, he'll come back. Plus, he has tons of different attacks. He's as tough and scary as he looks. I say just keep damaging him, and sooner or later he'll go down for good. Let's give this tormented spirit some eternal rest. Take, take advantage of our own. Ah, dang it. Take advantage of our flower saver, is what I'm gonna say. Um, switch to... Bob. have a full audience though. <laughs> Unfortunately, our uh, heat jerk doesn't seem to really affect Cortez at all. Um, but let's uh... Hmm. Let's try out this art attack. We've been holding on to this for a little bit. Considering that we do have a full audience. What? Um, okay. This is what I'm aiming for. That wasn't very good. Uh, it probably is a lot better against the larger party. Against this one dude. Could have done better. Defense up. It also didn't help that I didn't know what to attack because on the ground I've been attacking that bone pile in, in the back. Ow. That hurts. Why? This looks exciting. Oh! 
Oh, great. And now most of our audience is asleep. So that's going to be for phase two. Oh dear. So each of these weapons has four. Um, I can do art attack again, but I'm probably not going to be able to do anything else for a little while because the audience is. But I think that might be my best option. go all the way. Now you will see the might, the true might of my spirit form. You're not gonna mess with my audience, too, are you? You're just gonna friggin' gank half of them. Fortunately, the other half are waking up. Man, this is not a show you want to watch when uh, when we're up to a boss. Okay, can't use hammer because there's no one to use hammer. To refresh that fire debuff. Oh jeez. Oh no. Oh no. Everything is going badly. Look at what we are. The weapons have come back. We have two poison mushrooms on the slots. This is when we don't want the bingo. Oh boy. What do I do? What do I do? The best idea is just going to be to try to focus down Cortez. And let's hope for no bingo. Oh, okay. jump as long as I get the uh... Yeah. Fortunately, fortunately we did have the life streams, so if Mario went down, the fight wasn't over. But if we can avoid having to spend those, that's probably No my treasure Amigo, for I am not dead. Well, technically I was already dead, but my spirit endurer is tied to my treasure. So you cannot do anything to me. I do not live, Amigo. It's 
still guarding this treasure for hundreds of years is as it's almost as boring as death. What? You're not even interested in my treasure? Then why are you here? Uh, you want this, amigo? Yeah. This little rock over here? Are you serious? Well, that's no big deal. Here, take it. What do I need one or two extra gems for? I did not really like that one. <laughs> really? <laughs> we could have just avoided this. <laughs> well, the important thing is, you got a crystal star! Your star power is now six, and Mario learned the special move, Sweet Feast. End of chapter! Cortez, Scourge of the Seas, Mario soundly defeated this fearful spirit and claimed the Crystal Star. Perhaps the peaceful citizens of the world no longer need to fear Cortez and his fellowship. The only problem remaining is how Mario will escape this isolated island. And could there be another problem still hiding beneath our hero's clothes? Save all the progress up to this point? Yes. Alright, I'm gonna check on the game. Or not. We're not done yet, I guess. Well, that should do it. If you don't need anything else, away with you, amigo. Month star, day, circle star. And then I heard something my, uh, my ears could not believe. We have actually discovered the legendary treasure of the Pirate King Cortez. Give me a second. Alright, sorry about that. Apparently, there are cockroaches in here. Not great. I have to remember to report this when, uh, when the stream is over. Tell you, if it's not one thing, it's another. Sometimes it's neither, but usually something is going to show up. And it could be worse, could be bed bugs. Of course, now that I said that. Whoa, that was, that was like an earthquake in there. Are you alright? Yahoo! You beat Cortez! Wow, you're really something! Yes! Now that you got now that you got the free time, why'd you get us out of here? Um All that shaking caused this wall here to crack a bit. I feel a breeze. If we could break down this wall, I think we could escape. I guess it's not much help. What? 
the breeze. How are we gonna bust uh, How are we gonna bust this all wrong, though? Oh, I know how, Billy. Ah, it worked just like I said. Well, me first. Come on, everybody, let's get out of here. This damn cave is just not good for my skin. Let's go, Frankie. You saved our lives, man. I'll never forget you, but I need to leave now. Spyro, it's great to see you, but I've got to go. Ah, Cletus. Well, um, this is a familiar sight. So let me... So if we had just bombed this from the start, it probably wouldn't have worked because there was no crack. I'm just glad my little Dane is safe and sound. I didn't know what to do stranded in that cave, but the whole thing was was rather exciting. I mean, that'd be a little bit more than an Easter egg. That would be a substantial skip. Ah, Mario. Welcome back to you, my stalwart captain. So, have you found the treasure? How's our little expedition faring, hmm? What? The spirit of Cortez was gone in the treasure? And you beat him, but you left all the all the treasure there? Ah! What were you thinking? What were you tr Were you trying to be nice? Ah, well. Ah, that's what I like about you. How about you, I guess? Can it be? Brother? You, what are you doing here? I, I, I came looking for you, brother. All the way to silent, I came looking. But Ghost Attack us never brought to sink, but I found you now. Huh? You're both sink too? So you all stranded here as well? What? Hold on, huh? What was that? Oh dear. What is this? What is going on? Ah! What is that? Pardon me, guys. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> so sorry to surprise you. No, wait. No need to fight fake politeness anymore. Good job getting the crystal star. Oh yeah, seriously, good job getting it for me. Oi now, ain't that, uh, ain't that, ain't that good old four eyes? I can't get his accent. Frick. Yeah, that is four eyes. What are you doing over there? Hey, four eyes, it's dangerous up there. What was that little girl warm reception, huh? Dramatic entrance here. Oh, whatever. I'll spill it out for you, idiots. You may have known me as Four Eyes, but I'm actually... <laughs> the Great Lord Crump! Oh, man, did I fool you? I was the mastermind of the shadows running this voyage. It hurts to be this good. Now, Mario, enough of this. I'm on a schedule here. Hand over the Crystal Star. Because you know what will happen if you don't. Starboard cannons! Port cannons! Fire, fire, fire! Torres <laughs> <laughs> was a pirate all this time? Madness! What were we uh, standing what we are What are we all standing around for? Cannons, people! We must flee! Look, we'll say this. We're not much we're not much good for anything for, without without a ship to sail. Wait! 
I have it! I am a genius! I have a ship at hand and I think what I must say! Mario, take me to Cortez! Yes, my brain remember what you said. You said that Cortez had a ship! If the legend is true, then we should be unstoppable in that cursed ship! Olivia, what are you talking about? That's crazy! This is Cortez the power you're talking about here! Even if, even if Mario did beat him, why would he lend you his ship, huh? He'll cream you, cream you! Hey, I may be a coward and a cat, but I still need you. I have a duty to protect you. We will be cannon father if we sit and wag our tongues. We must at least try Cortez. I want to hear no complaints. I am your leader, and I will negotiate with this Cortez. Who could have seen this coming, right? Now, Mario, take me to this fire scum this instant. You. Me, excuse me, pardon me. It is you again. Did you forget something? Cortez, I have to speak with you. C -c -c Could you lend me your sh ship? What? What would possess me to lend you my ship? And who are you anyway? My name is Flavio. We are in big trouble and we can really use your help. We must protect our crew from bad pirates that are blasting us to bits. So we just need to borrow your ship for your teensiest little while. What are you talking about, muchacho? I do not rent this ship for pleasure cruisers. And even if I would lend it to you, this ship is magical and it cannot move now. The key to powering this ship is the mystical skull ship. The skull ship? You mean this? You! You have this skull ship! Uh, yes, uh, yes I do, so, uh, alright, what do you say to this proposition then? Take the gem handed down to generations of my family and lend us your ship? I think this is a pretty fair deal, do you not think, Cortez, old friend? Oh, friend, your ancestors stole that gem from me, you strutting peacock. You must be very brave or very, very foolish to ask such a thing of me. I should turn you into a piñata and throw a party on the beach! Wait just a moment! Do not make me have Mario trust you again! While he fights you, I will throw the stone into the sea where you will never find it! How would that be? You rattle my bones on your peacock! Very well. Accept your bargain, amigo. Now be very careful with that gem. Ah, check it, Nate Flavio! I did not make my fortune by, by failing in negotiation, no? You can talk your way through any deal, I say. Now you take this. Ah, now my precious black skull will sail the seas again. I was getting quite annoyed by the sound of cannons outside anyway. Now I can really stretch my bones and wreak havoc on the seas like in the old days. Oh Mario, feel free to thank me anytime for saving us all, but for now, we sail. Hey, we're coming too. Let's take him, come on, I like a one, guys. Oi, I ain't letting no Flavio fancy pen. <laughs> Fancy pants, uh, hot the glory. Come on, come on, Captain Stash. Now he's Scottish, apparently. I'm bad at accents sometimes. It's been a millennium since I gazed upon out upon the sea. Come to the open waters. I got ammo to spare. How's that for Boom Boss and Boom? You fire cannons here without my permission. You have nerve, mortal. 
What the? Why are all your men on the sails? Yeah, I'm gonna sink this radio gold ship to the bottom of the ocean! Hear my voice, spirits. Take their ship and show them the meaning of fear. This must seem very arrogant. Mario, my captain, it is now your turn again. Get over there and duel that cad! <laughs> I'm gonna turn you guys into wee seeds. Wait, that's not right. I'll turn you into seaweed. <laughs> Enjoy. So the pile has six. Um, but let's find out more about the man himself. Nice little crumb. Not this guy again. Ugh. Max HP is 30, attack is 3, and defense is 0. He just attacks normally, so don't worry too much about him. But those Exonauts all around him are a force to be reckoned with. They're gonna attack us with all kinds of weird moves. I can just feel it. If we take out their leader, though, they won't have to focus the attack. Get crump! The man, the myth, the legend. Bell is not quite much of a tank. Let's go with Flory for a bit here. Unfortunately, not worth any uh, star points. Probably because they're uh, they can be regenerated. So otherwise, you'd, you'd just be able to, yeah. That at least distracted him for a Vivian might be a good idea too, because uh, she'd be able to put the burn on for free. <laughs> You're not gonna get off that easily, losers. Let's see how you like this. It sucks! Oh dear. There we go. And I can attack them. I almost don't even need to... to move the cursor for that. Flurry's gonna take care of the uh, ceiling patrol here. And now it's time to finish you off. Man, this is no good. 
I thought I was almost dazed for a second there. But you haven't finished me off yet, you sea urchins. I'm down, but no way I'm out. And then the fog rolls in. Okay, that only hit once at least. Alright, Flurry, you pull back. Um, oops. Let's go ahead and fire drive. completely with there. Oops is down. Oh jeez. Just gonna summon another group, huh? And Hoops is in front, so that means I lose my partner's turret. And I not not a fan. I'll put a bobby for now. Than, a, than it really should be, honestly. fight is about done, so let's go ahead and finish off the Sweet Beast, which is basically just an upgraded version of Sweet Treat. I think it also doesn't have... oh, yeah, it does have Poison Shrooms. I just kind of decided to group them up together there. But yeah, the, the balance on that is way higher. Bomb should be blown up though. Yeah, there we go. Oh. Actually, this is a real good time for that, I think. Yeah, double star points for a boss! 42 star points! 42 star points! Man, this is getting old! How can I lose again? I hate losing! Now I'm gonna, uh, now I'm gonna think of another excuse for Grotus! With that pal, I'm gone! We've done it, old boy! I should say, uh, he won't. Uh, I should say, he won't be too keen on seeing us again, eh? Yeah, we did it. Yeah, we did it. Yeah, we did it. Okay, let's save again. Now let's go check on everyone else. You blew 
it again, Lord Croc. You sicken me. Look, I'm sorry. Seriously. We thought... We thought we had the guy cornered, but... Stop talking, Lord Crump. You just stand by until my next order. And Lord Crump, think of this as your last chance. Understand. Roger that. Then leave. Hey, you there. What is it, sir? Tell the Shadow Sirens to attack Mario again. And tell them not to fail this time. You got it, sir. I have one crystal star in my hands, and Mario has five. Must take some measures. Tech called me in here again. I wonder what it is this time. Is that not as you? What's wrong? I must request that you do something a bit more dangerous this time. Dangerous? I would like you to sneak into Sir Grotus's room and look for a data disk. Data disk? Why would you need that? Although I can view all data on the network, I am unable to access the data of computers that are not linked to the network. Sir Grotus has information that even I am unable to view. But I must know it. I must know that information. But how will I get in there? Will I be disguised again? Not this time. No one other than Sir Grotus can enter this room. When Sir Grotus is elsewhere, there are guards outside the room that permit no entry. But there is a way. You will be fine if you act according to my instructions. I must tell you. I do not want to make you do such a dangerous thing. But now I have no one to ask but you. I don't mind, Dick. Really, ask me anything. Well then, first leave the room and take the elevator up as you did earlier. Well, now if we go on another peachful adventure. You will first go into the in the opposite direction of Sir Rose's room. Exit the elevator and enter the uh, and enter the room with a green man for the bucket. I go the right way. I'm going the right way. Now, I'll, now I will have you concoct a potion that will make you transparent. You mean the potion that makes me invisible? Yes. You will enter Sir Grotus's room by becoming completely invisible. Wow, okay. How do I make it? You must first set all of the potions on the desk in the concocted room. There's a machine in the back, but even I do not know which potion to set where. There should be memos left in the room by the excellent researchers. Please use them as references and set the potions in the machine. Okay. Do not place the red potion on the far right. Place the blue potion next to the red potion. Place two potions between the green and red potion. So knowing that, if there needs to be two potions between the green and the red, Then, if the red cannot be on the far right, it has to be on the far left. So, two potions between the green and the red. The blue potion next to the red potion. Oops. And there's only one spot left for the orange potion. Are you sure they are placed to your left? Yes. Very well. Then please cue the button on the control panel located on the left side of the room.
Please press the button where the beaker stops to dispense, e to dispense each potion. It does kind of go back and forth here. And it doesn't necessarily stop. Uh, yeah, like that. So you absolutely do want to wait until the beaker has come to a full and complete stop. I will heat the mixed potion in the beaker for 30 seconds. Also, hey, Zero. We do science? We are indeed doing science. Press the button exactly 30 seconds after the heating starts after the heating starts to heat to Press the button exactly 30 seconds after the heating starts to stop the machine. I do have a uh, stopwatch here, although if I was just playing on my own, I could probably count this out. I'm actually really good at counting seconds. So how's everyone doing? About 10 seconds left. Also, it doesn't need to be exact exact, but you want to be as close as possible. Yeah, I've heard a lot of people having trouble with Overwatch 2 servers. I guess that stands to reason it is a new game after all. By my calculations, it should be finished, but did it come out correctly? Do you think? I think so. Very good. Then please drink it. All of it, if you please. What? Drink this? Is it safe? It smells really funky. Please, you must drink it. Well. Bottoms up for science! You have done it. You have successfully made yourself transparent. Congratulations. But I must ask you to take off your dress however. Oh whoa? Even the potion cannot make the dress invisible. What? That's indecent! No way! Oh fine, I guess, if it's the only way. Now that, that's what y'all came here for, right? Full frontal nudity? Not that you can see it, but it's there. When you go into Sir Gross's room, first locate the disk with the recorded data. Then insert that disk into the personal computer and connect it to the network. When you are finished with that, please come back to this room. I will teach you how to make yourself normal. Gee, that, this is kind of a complicated plan, huh? I suppose. Now please go to Sir room. Also, um, you can still hear the shoes. Oh, if you didn't know where to put the orange potion, there's a note about Whoa. Okay, that was creepy. Why did the doors open even though there's no one there? Malfunction? Or am I just totally losing it here? Of course, the shadow is pretty much just there for a reference. Because who knows? This must be Gross's room. Now where's the disc? And it, this must be it. This looks like a Famicom disc, actually. 
kind of data is on it. Now, I can tell you what's on a Famicom disc sometimes. It's usually some sort of game. Um, oh yeah, now I insert the disc into the computer and connect it to the network. It is a Famicom disc. Straight up. I did it! Yes, I did it! It's working! I think that's the actual animation uh, for when you were uh, using a Famicom disc station. Because you could actually swap out discs. Looks like, looks like it's all done. I better put the disc back where I got it. There, like I was never here. Yeah, that was also a problem previously, and I don't know why. Because the, the client is working. Like, everything is running like it should. Just all of a sudden... Zuzio, thank you for the resub, and a blip to you too. Thank you, Princess Peach. I was able to obtain the data I desired. Huh, yeah. Let me take a look at the scene here. that on top of everything else. No, it is just not showing up on the main on the studio screen. But it's showing up fine in uh, on the interstitial screens. That is super weird. Alright, well, unfortunately, if you're watching this on a VOD, um, good luck trying to figure out what the chat was talking about. <laughs> Is that right? Well, I'm glad. Now I will teach you how to become visible. It is quite simple, actually. Merely drink the green pot. You will revert to normal instantaneously. Okay, just hang on a minute. YouTube viewers are stinky. Okay, now I'm ready. Let's see here, the green potion, right? Science! What a relief. I was kind of worried that I might never become visible again. There was never any, and there was never any danger. Now please return to the computer. How is that data? I'm still analyzing it. The data is very heavily encrypted. But if my prediction is correct. It's correct. What? No, I cannot afford any mistakes or, or assumptions. I will let you know when my analysis is complete. Now, please use the communicator switch. Okay. You'll tell me when you decipher the data, huh? Good. Now I'll use the communicator, thanks. I've written my message. Would you send it? Message has been sent. We are done for now. 
Please go back to the Okay, take care, Tech. Thank you, Princess Peach. Oh, you're welcome, Tech. Look, what is this place? Why is the light here? Why is the light so weird here? It's creeping me out. The light's odd because this is Twilight Town, my lord. Should be treasure here. Let's put the screws to one of these creepy things and find the crystal star. Sounds good to me, Aggie. Let's get to it. Uh huh? Crystal star? I have no idea. Really, spare me, please. Wait. What's your deal? Oh man. I'm pretty sure Beldum said she lost her super bomb on somewhere around here. This stinks. Really. This whole deal extremely bad, 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 bad. I got a cowboy up here make a serious comeback. Or else. Bam! Got it! I am the man! Now we can crush Mario and get the crystal stars in one fell swoop! Ha! Dig it out! Ooh, 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 ooh. The look of the moon is still riding shotgun with me! You there, suspicious guy! You know something about the crystal stars, don't you? Huh? Somebody there? Hey, what's the big idea, turtle boy? You're looking for the crystal stars too? Sweet! This'll help the crump come back! Now then, let's get to it. You'll be telling me everything you know. Now. Uh, actually, it's you who's gonna spill every bit of info out of your big ugly head. Yeah, sorry about that. And if you hesitate at all, I'll show you no mercy. Whoa there, big guy. I mean, no. What am I afraid of? You? If you think you can take me, then try it, chubby. All troops report! <laughs> yeah, you like that? Kind of a lot of dudes, huh? You feel like talking yet? <laughs> you dare scoff at us? Koopa Clan, form up! Whoa, well played. <laughs> so is it gonna be, tough guy? <laughs> Well, I gotta laugh. This is why I keep one of these, uh, one of these around. Sorry, suckers. Eat this, troll dorks. Super bomb bomb. Incoming. Uh, that was it. That was your big weapon. It didn't even go off. <laughs> this is how you do it, amateur. Watch and learn. Oh crud. And that's how Bowser died. The end. You, you have distinguished yourself in battle, amigo. You are worthy in my eyes. You may use this sh uh, this ship, the Black Skull, anytime you like. Ah, many thanks to you. This ship can get us back to Rogueport in no time. Let us get away from this coconut bit and back home. Come, everybody. I can't wait to get back home. we have been looking forward to this for so long. Returning home alive is all the treasure I need, for real. Now let's get this boat moving. Well, that is all there is to, to it then, am I not correct? To see Captain Mario. Ah, Mario! Oh. We're gonna stay here. It's been tough at times, but I think we like this place. 
Yes, I think we can make a fine life here with my- I think I can make a fine life here with my sweet Frankie. Hey Mario, give my regards to the boss, will ya? Yeah, I'm gonna stay here. It's a right nice place to live without, without any ghosts, eh? Yes, very good. They'll be rather happy here, eh? Let's be on our way, hmm? Alrighty, amigos, cast off! What the big gaping pain over there? Star Day Circle. And thus our insight our adventure came to an exciting end, huh? The ship sailed smoothly onto a rock port, and soon we uh, saw the harbor off our bow. I did not find the treasure, but I am satisfied nonetheless, strange though it sounds. For I have found something even more precious than the balloons. Yes. Even now I hear the crew ready to dock. The time is ripe to close this journey. To all who wander the seas, Flavio's blessing upon you. Flavio. At last we return, slathered in glory to my hometown, Sweet Rockport. Of course, it is only because of my courageous efforts that we return at all, huh? But of course, you all know that and know it well. Yes, yes, Mr. Flavio. But now, please excuse us. Perhaps chance will bring us all together again someday. But what? Hey, where are... You're leaving already? Ah, that was harsh. Such is life, Captain Mario. You're anxious to continue your adventure also, huh? One day you may, s you may surpass the great and fabulous Flavio in greatness and fabulousness. It is not likely, I assure you, but you should, how you say, shoot for the stars, huh? If you should, if ever you should reach the pinnacle, remember to shout, love you in the, into the wind. That reminds me, amigo. If you ever get the urge to return to Kiel Halki, just say the word, okay? I will send you to the island faster than the fastest winds blow, comprende? Yes, yes, you giant skull you. Your time in the spotlight is done. Get over yourself. <clears throat> well, my adoring fans have gone, so I will uh, be excusing myself now as well. If you see me in town, I would permit you to say hello to me. May we meet again, huh? Well, 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 oh boy. I, th I should think we'd head for that door at this point. Yes, indeed, we should. Let's get an email. Gonzalez, that's you, bud. It's gotta be an email from Princess Peach. Dearest Mario, I have good news. I don't know where I'm being held, but there's an odd computer called Tech here. By cooperating with this tech, I've managed to obtain some of, this, uh, some of these fiends' data. Tech is currently analyzing it, and strange as it may sound, I trust them. Once this analysis is done, I should be able to provide you with details of their plans. I'll email you again once I learn more. Be good, okay? Princess Peach. <clears throat> Princess Pe Peach. I can't. I I have a dead zone in my voice, okay? Rock on! That princess is pretty rad, huh? Wow. You gotta get to work, too. I mean, that's what I was going to do, and then got interrupted. Before anything else, I'm gonna get another email. <laughs> and of course, it's Road Port today. Gumez, please do not eat the flowers. Listen, most people who love flowers 
are not going to be eating them. Saying that before I knew they were in my mouth, I'm so ashamed. <laughs> Shop report go! A little behind our pace here. Don't get on the hubby's bad side. Don't go smiling at my wife. He is a little possessive, aren't you? We regret that his awards are unprintable here. Good. It'll be a double point sale for all RDM readers. Just start show or the screen in the next 15 minutes and double your points on any purchase. Too bad we're not going to, to uh, do anything with that. This is a euphemism for drugs? What? What? What is? Oh, the flowers. Okay. Slice of turley leaf and a horsetail. Mix them together. You're done. I mean, they, they might be. Okay, can we stop getting email every five seconds now? Oh good, there's another issue of Super Luigi. Wish I was still a pig. Okay, let's go crowd for 128. Okay, fine. Why do you get to sell books, Luigi? You're not even in the store. I'm trying to remember. Yes, this is exactly what I was looking for. Another shine sprite. Speaking of shine sprites, oh, Time for another partner upgrade, and I don't even. Why are you outside? Oh, what impeccable timing! Yes, this was Dustin. When I consulted my star charts, I saw a portentous sign for you, Mario. It went thusly In the house of the dragon that flew through the air, beyond the reversible stair, near the empty black chest that cursed you, lies a clue to help your allies lure. I have no idea what it means, unfortunately. But I have no doubt of its importance as a sign for you and your friends. If you figure out this mystery, come and tell me immediately. Now I could hold on to my uh, shine sprites for some reason. But the fact is, we have enough shine sprites to upgrade both of these, so we're going to do that. Shazibi! Shazuki! we can do. But first we're gonna go chase that rumor that uh, that Merlin there gave us. Um, 
Actually, I think I want to come down here like that. And this time I'm not going to foolishly run off to the back of, uh... Come to think of it. I don't want the shortcut. The regular entrance is gonna be closer. Oh geez. They went from removing the enemies here to leveling them up. So now we have Hammer Brothers and Magic Googles down here. I know that there is a thing there, we're gonna come back to it. This is the puzzle you misremembered as being from his mouth. Gotcha. So now we need to go beyond the reversible stair. That's so weird. It counted... Oh, that's not what I want. Yeah, that, that is what I want. But it counted my jumping on to Omelette as a jump attack. Probably was not intentional design. <laughs> okay, beyond the reversible stair, this is the reversible stair. to there were stone walls and pear. Telemaze. Oh no, it closed again, whatever will we do? Okay. You might remember this room. <laughs> Uh, there is a cracked wall back here that we need Bobbery for. That didn't work. There we go. That was awfully exact.
An up arrow. It's unclear what this means. You should ask somebody. I this one I saw something behind that box too. Hmm. Switch back to Omelette. kind of lucky, actually. I'm really surprised that uh, the dry bones didn't actually hit us. this and press the wrong button. Now as for what that up uh, for what that up arrow means, I was gonna wait for a little bit. Every, almost every time, that's gotta happen. And then I almost do it to myself. But now we have this, which means we can just go past this. Ooh. Is this jumpable? how to get that. Because you can only go left and right with an omelette if you try to hover up or down and just kind of hovers in place. Also cracking this wall. Is it right here? Or does it lead? <laughs> You've come quite a ways. This is Chet Ripple's adjustment house. If you think you want to change your abilities or your partner's ranks, and I can adjust those things for the low, low price of 39 coins. So who needs some adjustment to them? Oh, I don't know if I knew about this. I didn't know you could change this. Can't adjust your part. Well, that makes sense. Yeah, I don't remember that at all either. Ooh. 
Respec in a Mario game, yeah, apparently. By the way, we can make it through here. Let's see. Does Dazzle has it have anything good for us? Not really. I don't think there's anything else right here. So let's head over to the Thousand Year Door. By the way, um, while we're heading over there, uh, I'm not going to open it now because we don't have time. But, um, actually, I don't know how much we're going to be able to use this, considering the next two chapters. But uh, I did have the idea of um, adding one more uh, game changer to this game, but this one's a doozy. Um, and I think what I'm going to do is I'm not going to do the troubles uh, for this chapter now. I'll do those next week. Uh, but I'm going to turn on a game changer that will force me to go to the Pit of a Hundred Trials. You can use it once per stream. I can refuse it if uh, the story says I can't go to the Pit of 100 Trials uh, like at that time, uh, or if I don't think I have enough time to actually do it. But it is going to be expensive. 20,000 channel points to force me into the pit. And if I can't do it, you get it from that, That's enough. That's a magic Koopa. You know, Koopa Wizard. Max HP is 7, attack is 4, and defense is 0. It'll throw a load of pain our way while using magic to, creep its to help its buddies. What a creep. And when there's only one of them, it's listed the multiple copies to mess with us. Stop this thing fast or, be in, or we'll be in for a world of hurt. No big deal. Here's a splitting thing, I guess. Huh? Oh, alright. See your funeral. Huh? I remember what her stylish is now. I have to press A just as she jumps. Load up star number five and see where the where the uh, star map takes us this time. of the crystal star was recorded on your magical map. Well, oh, let's go talk to Professor Frankly. Oh, yeah.
great news, my friends. The next crystal star is in Poshley Heights. Wait a sec. You mean where all the rich and famous uh where where all the rich and famous live? Like movie stars and stuff? Yes, yes, I'm fairly sure there is also a shrine to the stars called Poshley Sanctum. No fearsome monsters or dangerous dungeons either, it's just a tourist attraction. So, uh, a little help here. To get to Poshley, to Poshley Heights, we should... That's the best part! We get to, to ride the most famous train of all, the Excess Express! Yes, after a luxurious steam engine, uh, steam engine excursion, the next Crystal Star will be yours! Getting those crystal stars has been backbreaking work, but this time it will be a cinch. And I thought you had to be like rich or famous to get an, exe an excess express ticket. Hmm. That may be true. Perhaps you should ask Don Pianto for help with this too. Oh no! No 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 no! Not that psychopath again! Oh well, I guess we don't have much of a choice, huh? Come on, Mario, let's go. Excellent. Then we're set. We may not have much time, though, so you must hurry. I'll gather all the information I can. You guys just handle your end of things. Let's make sure there's nothing in the wastebasket. It's not. We've gotten all the tablets uh, available to us so far. At least we haven't lost out on any unobtainable time. Actually, I think it's back here. So I do have a little bit of uh, treasure hunting to do. Oh, there's another another uh, shine sprite there. And that'll actually make three, come to think of it. Double dip! During battle, use two items in one turn. This is probably indispensable for some people. Meanwhile, I almost never use items. Am I about to be a movie star? Dang it. Oh, that just barely worked. Alright, let's go talk to Merlin. We got something to show them. What's this? An up arrow? An up arrow? Up? Of course! The Ultra Stone! So that is what that star sign meant. I must go now, my people need me. I picked this up at a flea market years ago and forgot it was in the attic. With this, I can power up your partners even more. We are cooking now. Let me know when you want to power up your allies more. Sure enough, we do have three shine sprites. Um, now I'm pretty sure there is a limit of uh, five options for uh, for polls, so I'm going to just 
let you guys pick. There are two of you in chat right now. Uh, so pick two, and if you pick the same one, I'll go with that one. And if you pick two different ones, I'll choose one from the two. So Goombella, you can use Rally Wink to up Mario's attack, attacks turns by one. Koops, you can use Shell Slam to attack all ground enemies. Flora, you can use Dodgy Fog to make Mario dodgy. Omelette, you can use Stampede to attack all ground enemies. Vivian, you can use Infatuate to confuse all enemies. Bobbery, you can use Babombas to attack all enemies. Ms. Mouse, you can use Smooch to boost Mario's HP. Jewel! You made it to the end of the stream. But I'll, I'll still let you pick who we're going to um, rank up here. Well, you can be part of the decision making process at the very least. So we got one vote for Omelette. Who can use Stampede to attack all ground enemies? Jewel saying Vivian, who can use Infatuate to confuse all enemies. So Zuzio, if you pick one of those two, I'm going to upgrade them. If you pick someone else, I get to pick between the three. Oh, I, I, sorry, I missed that. Maybe it is then. Shizubi! Shizubi! Then you may go. By the way, Jewel, since you missed it, um, so I'm going to be adding a new um, a new game changer at the beginning of the next stream. Uh, I'm pretty sure you'll only you, you won't get a whole lot of opportunity to use it. If you want to use it, you'll have to be to come in pr uh, fairly early on in the stream. But that uh, game changer will allow you will allow you to force me. To attempt the pit of a hundred trials, and it costs twenty thousand channel points, twenty thousand doodads. Um, is there anything else that I want to do before? Oh, I don't think there was really much else to do. Allow me to demonstrate the Pit of Honor Trials, then. Um, we're not going to actually do a run, obviously, because it is pretty much stream time. Ow. A Koopa Trooper who, who protects himself with spiked armor. Max HP is 6, attack is 4, defense is 2. It attacks with his shell and with his head, then, for, and then sometimes charges up for a fierce move. Plus, if you take too long to win, they'll call reinforcements. Yeah, sort of gnarly, huh? It's one of the worst of Bowser's guys. Koopa Troopers dream of being Koopa Trolls. Hey, by the way, what do you think Bowser's doing right now anyway? Eating? 
nothing wrong with some comfort food. Actually, the only person who's gonna be able to do anything is Vivian. Well, Vivian and Bob. Well, let's try out this new attack, I guess. Okay, that timing was super jank, I'm not gonna lie. Zoom! <laughs> Bye! I think this will lead directly to it. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna show this off. I'm gonna put a save state right here. So basically, we go into your room. We fight enemies. <sighs> it's gonna take longer than I want to. Just for my little demonstration. Yeah, thanks. Once everything is dead, a uh, pipe opens up. And then we end up in another room, fight more enemies, do that literally a hundred times. Yeah, basically. Oh. That was loading save states for science. I allow it. Also, you beat the entirety of Captain Silver using save states, so you're not one to talk. Yeah, I got hammers too, buddy. And I failed to use them on you. Ah. Oh, I've already identified these. Oh, you know what? Let's finish this screen with a level up. Oh right, I have to pull down the R button for that. Um, so yeah, let's actually do this correctly this time. Also, I probably need to refill this soon. Like before starting the next uh, 
the next chapter, probably. Alright guys, where am I leveling up? Last time we leveled up Newton. We have 21 of those. Then we have 30 HP and 25 FP. And as we just learned, these changes are not necessarily permanent. Gotta keep that blood pressure up. Now in my case, I'm taking something to keep that blood pressure down. Two votes for BB. Let's go. I'm just gonna head back to Rogueport. Now it's gonna be it. Actually, before saving, I should probably assign those blood points so I don't forget. Um, once again, so many options. I'm not going to use double dip because I don't use it. Defend Plus Park here for a while. Probably don't need Ice Power as much anymore. Once again, I'm going to go ahead and reset this so that we can go out on the uh, on the wonderful title theme for this game. Alrighty, so next time I'm, if I can remember to anyway, I'm going to make sure to turn on It's the Pits, uh, so the new game changer to force me down the Pit of 100 files, and I'm going to try to remember to turn it off when I'm not going to be able to do that anymore until I get back to Rugport. Uh, but yeah, um... So if you get here early on in next week's stream and you have points, then we can do that instead of doing chapter 6. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be doing the troubles first and then I'm going to need to actually get a ticket for the train. Uh, after that point, we're going to be stuck on that train for a little bit, so uh, that's where we're going with that. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be for next week. For this week, we are done. So thank you all for watching. Thank you to uh, Tyrion, uh, Zuzio, Zero, and uh, Jewel for hanging out. Uh, and also to Zero and Zuzio for the resubs. 
The next scheduled stream is going to be tomorrow at uh, 4 p.m. Atlantic Daylight Time. It is the Code Creator stream where we're probably going to be doing some work on um, bumper stickers. It's actually at a point now where I can actually test it out on Sunday, but um, we can probably get a little bit of work um, balancing the game a little bit. And if I'm happy with it, um, I may end the stream early, or I may pick up a different project for the rest of the stream. We'll see what happens. Uh, the next stream after that is going to be on Saturday at 9 p.m. Atlantic Daylight Time. It is the extra long run stream where we're going to uh, continue our run of Xenoblade Chronicles 3 and hopefully actually get into Kata's Castle this time. Unlike last time where I was sure that I was going to actually get in there, didn't exactly happen. Uh, following that is going to be the Sunday Super Shuffle, Sunday at uh, 8 p.m. or later Atlantic Daylight Time. We're going to do some Archipelago stuff, including probably do a live test run of bumper stickers. So exciting stuff, tune in for that. And that takes us round week, round video to our next uh, regular long run stream, Tuesday at 9 p.m., where unless someone redeems it's the pits, we're going to get on chapter 6. So, that's going to do it. Thank y'all for watching. I'm cool here if you don't know, and I'll see you guys next time.